office almost over 15 minutes ago, and I told him to come straight in here. Now, where do you think he is? Uh, now, don't get your dander up, bud. Dander? He's just an eight-year-old boy. That boy. You're in the room. Taylor, if you can hear me, come out. Besides, you know, you know, it can take him 15 minutes to get across the room. Well, I'm going to go find him and make sure he wanders on in here so you can occupy him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, occupy him? Doing what? Don't you think of something, dear? I know. Tell him one of your stories. He loves your stories. A story, huh? I don't know. I guess I can do that. Uh, Thank you. Uh, but say, hey, wait. Watch this, you and me in here. How about a kiss? Oh, we'll have time for that later. Right now, I have to clean up. Taylor! Taylor, where are you? Grandpa? Hello? Anybody in here? Yeah, over here, kids. Hey, Taylor! That's my favorite grandson. Grandpa, I'm your only grandson. <laughs> You're still my favorite. And who's this? Oh, this is Betty Bodden. Her family joined the church last week. Oh, well, welcome, Becky. Any friend of Taylor's is a friend of mine. And welcome to Tyler Street. Now, Taylor, your grandma's looking for you. Did you see her on the way in here? Oh, yeah, she said this here. She said you occupy us. What are you going to occupy us with? Well, Sarah suggested I tell you a story. Do you like stories, Becky? About what? Well, let's see. Take a look at these windows. Do you know any of the stories about those windows? Oh, I know. They're all stories that were in the Bible. That's right, Taylor. They are all Bible stories. But you know, I see something more in them. Yeah, not just stories about God working in people's lives thousands of years ago, but God working in people's lives well, even today. You know, in, in a certain way, these windows, well, they tell the story of how God cared for me, even when I didn't care for him. What do you mean, Grandpa? Well, here, I'll show you. You see that first window over there? That window reminds me of a time, well, I was just about your age, Taylor, and I learned that God loved me even though I didn't know who he was. Grandpa, you didn't know who God was? <laughs> yeah, I got to admit that, that that's true. Oh, now, I've heard the name of Jesus before, but I didn't know who he really was. You might say I was like a little just wandering around doing dumb things, going places I shouldn't go, doing things, well, doing things that could have gotten me killed. You almost got killed? How? Please tell us, Mr. Grandpa. Well, okay. You see, it was a long time ago. Like I said, I was about your age. I had been watching this beautiful horse named Light. Big black stallion. What a beauty. I want him to ride him real bad. But Mr. Keast, now that's the man that owned Lightning, and he said, John, you can't ride Lightning because he hasn't been broken yet. I didn't think that should stop me. So one afternoon, I climbed through the fence, snuck into the pasture, and before you know it... Look at me, Sarah. I'm right back. Eat it, Ross. Trust me, go. Watch me, Sarah. Watch me. John, look out for the... No, what are you doing, 
Tell you what, we're having lunch on the grounds next Sunday. If you want to, you can have lunch with my family. What do you say? Free food? In that case, we'll eat it. When you get there, just ask for Dr. Bob Barnes. I've been looking for you too. 